This video is part two of the Node-RED overview. The first video introduced Node-RED. This video will focus on the key features of Node-RED available in Rational Application Developer. I'll explain what it means to have a local running instance of the Node-RED server. Node-RED runs in a Node.js runtime. Therefore, to run a Node-RED server, you must first install and configure the Node.js runtime. This requires having the knowledge and time to do so. Next, you must install Node-RED. This also takes knowledge and time. Rational Application Developer removes the need for separate installations of Node.js and Node-RED by installing them as part of the Rational Application Developer install process. As part of the Rational Application Developer installation process, check the Node-RED checkbox in Installation Manager to install Node-RED. Next, I'll demonstrate the Node-RED Preferences page. The Preferences page provides a central location to add URLs and platforms to multiple Node-RED servers with their security details, if applicable, and to verify a connection. The URLs can then be opened in the Node-RED Editor view. For example, in my Bluemix dashboard, I have a Node-RED application in my Cloud Foundry apps. Click the route for that application. That goes to the Node-RED introductory page on IBM Bluemix. Click Go to your Node-RED Flow Editor to open the Node-RED browser-based editor running on Bluemix. Copy the URL, go back to the Node-RED Preferences page, and add the URL to the platforms. Give it a name and check the checkbox for Administration Enabled. Enter your credentials and click OK. The URL details for that Node-RED server are saved. To verify the connection to the Node-RED server, click Test Connection. Rational Application Developer offers the ability to start the Node-RED server without leaving the Rational Application Developer tool or without having to open a separate console and executing the Node-RED command to start the server. I'll demonstrate how to start the Node-RED server, but first, I'll apply the changes I made and switch to the Node-RED console. This is the Node-RED console that starts the Node-RED server. The console displays the standard Node-RED server output as you use the Node-RED editor view. In addition, you can use the console to stop the Node-RED server, or in other words, stop the Node.js runtime, because Node-RED is running in the Node.js runtime. Typically, you have to search for the running Node.js process and stop it manually. With the console in Rational Application Developer, you can stop the Node.js process by clicking Terminate. I'll go back to the Preferences page and start the local Node-RED server. In the console, you can see that the server is starting. A confirmation dialog is displayed. Click OK. Now that I've added the URL to the Preferences page, it's displayed in the selection box. Selecting the URL takes me to the Node-RED server instance running on IBM Bluemix. The selection box provides a quick way of switching among all your Node-RED servers. The final thing I'll demonstrate is the Node-RED Explorer view. It's a unique view in Rational Application Developer that displays your flows and nodes. To open the Explorer view, go to Window, Show View, Other. Under Internet of Things, select Node-RED Explorer and click OK. These are your flows and nodes. The Node-RED Editor view displays a tab that corresponds to each flow in the Explorer. Expand a flow to see a list of the nodes it contains. Here is a sentiment node that corresponds to the sentiment node in the editor view. Double click a flow to open the flow in the Node Red Editor view. To see all your flows in the editor view, you must scroll through the tabs. The Explorer view displays all your flows at once and makes it easy to change between nodes without the need of scrolling. If I open the URL to the Bluemix server, the Explorer view updates to display the flows in that server. 
That concludes part two of the Node-RED overview.